Hey guys, I'm super jazzed to be able to show you how to use our new paper sunglasses SVG cut file. We are going to personalize the heck out of these and I mean there are so many ways that you can add fun stuff to the top of this design. I've got a brand new canvas open in design space and the first thing I'm going to do is upload our cut file. I'm going to drag it on over, there it is, and we're going to save it. Here we go. So it should open, yeah, just at about, it should be seven inches wide. Uh, that's perfect for adults. If you're gonna do uh, toddlers or little kids, anywhere from four uh, and three quarters of an inch to five inches is perfect for little heads. And then uh, around five and three quarters and six inches is good for, um, uh, bigger kids. So um, I am making these for my littles. So I'm going to do 4.75 here. Oops. And right here in the size, the size is locked. So that means it's going to resize the entire file. And I'm going to do 4.75. Okay. There we go. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this uh, selection and then I'm gonna click on these little lines these are score lines so we want to make sure that this little fold down here is gonna be scored you don't have to do this but it is very nice and then on that on the um, what it, what would that be called like the earpiece um, the score line and the earpiece need to be attached so we're gonna click attach they're already grouped but uh, they need to be attached so that the score line scores right where I put it. So attach. Okay, now they're attached. And if you're going to make more glasses, you can duplicate this or you can copy it, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy it uh, three times because I'm going to make three glasses for my littles for Valentine's Day. All right, now I'm going to zoom in so that I can work on this pair right here. So I'm gonna do some Valentine's and I'm gonna go XO, XO, XO. Well, my font is already pulled up. I'm using Brooklyn for these. And then I'm gonna use uh, B Mine on another one over here. And then I'm gonna use Kiss Me on another one. Okay, so let's do the XOXO first. Now this this looks pretty good. The sizing looks good. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. On the sizing for all of these, it's best if the text goes even a little bit outside of the sunglasses, um, just to kind of make it a little bit obnoxious. Okay. I'm going to use this. This is called ungroup to letters. This is fantastic, which means it, it ungroups all of the letters and you can move them now individually. So I want to put that X O up a little bit. I actually think I'm going to try to flip this. Uh, oh, that doesn't look good. Does that look all right? That looks cool. So now that bigger part of the X is down there. And I'm just going to kind of arrange these uh, how I want here across the top of the sunglasses, which is really all that we're doing. Um, and there we go. I think that looks super cute. I'm going to actually select all of those letters. And first, I'm going to weld them. And then I am going to weld it to that pair of sunglasses. I'm going to select and weld. Now that it's all one piece. Now that one's ready to go. I'm going to make this one. I'm going to do, they're all different shades of pink. But um, when you color your cut file here all to match, then that will all put those pieces on one uh, cut, cut mat. And it'll help keep you organized during your cutting process. Okay, so be mine over here. We're going to go to this one. So this one looks a little bit too big. So there, we're gonna resize that. Again, I'm gonna use ungroup to letters and I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna, hmm, this B is a little bit weird. Let's see what it looks like if I flip it. 
Looks a little bit better. I'm gonna have to do some stuff here. Okay. Looks a little bit better. Now, I would like that all to be touching. So then this looks like it's a little bit too big. So this is really all it is, is just playing with your text. Uh-oh. Where'd my bee go? There it is. Uh, excuse me. Oh, because the X is right there. That's funny because it's backwards. Okay. So really all this project is, is just playing with the text and arranging letters until you are happy with the look of things. I do have a couple little tips for you. And I have one really awesome extreme tip that you're gonna love. Okay, so I'm moving these around. So some parts of the font, like the eye, that will not be able to stay on, unfortunately. So I'm gonna move this just all a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna do weld. Then since that eye, I know I'm not, it's not gonna cut, I'm gonna do contour. I'm gonna remove that eye. Oops, removed the wrong bit. So now that eye is the dot of the eye isn't there and then I'm going to select both of these and hit weld now they're all one piece and it's ready to get its custom pink here probably just gonna make it purple because that's easy oh it's that one There it is. Purple. Okay. XOXO be mine. Kiss me is next. Move these off to the side. Again, the kiss me is a little bit too big. I'm going to resize it. Ungroup to letters. Move this around just a little bit. Yeah, the kiss me and the XO was super easy. Okay. I think that's pretty cute. Oops. What's happening here? Why is this being weird? You do want to make sure that you're not welding any font into these little holes because the eyeglass ear pieces go in there. Okay. So we're going to weld these letters. Then I'm going to weld it to the sunglasses. Weld. Okay, now, hmm. I don't know that I like the way the S's look, so I'm going to undo that. Undo. And I'm going to try undo that weld. I'm going to try to... I wonder if I can flip them again. Wrong way. No, instead I'm just going to copy that. I think this will give it more of an S feel. <sighs> okay, select weld. Weld. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and now I'm just gonna choose another. Mm. Another pink color here and get these all colored the same. And now I'm excited, This these files are ready to cut. I'm gonna save them as V-Day paper glasses. And we're using all kinds of specialty cardstock um, to cut these. Some of the foil paper and foil, um, what is it called? Uh, poster board is perfect for this. So. This is the Valentine's one that I made. This is the mermaid. Um, so for this one, I actually used one of our hand lettered designs from the bridesmaid selection. This was supposed to be mermaid, like uh, bridesmaid mermaid. Um, but I took out the dash and then I added, I resized it to fit across the glasses. Um, so that's fun. And then this is the wedding ones that I made. And these, again, these took a little bit longer to make. 
So I'm going to show you a tip right now for these, which is, um, okay, so for the bride, this font was Leisha. Okay. Ungrouped to letters. So when I was arranging these or over this um, sunglass file, I did a lot of different um, like rotating and all that kind of stuff to get the font to where I really was happy with it. But for this um, little learning exercise here, I'm going to uh, turn this off so that we can, uh, so I can, you can see. I'm going to add this file again, ungroup. I'm going to get rid of this here because I really just need this sunglass piece. Okay, so um, as you can see, if you wanted the bride, the wording to be just like that, the some of the words are, are creeping into the sunglasses, right? So we can't have that. All right, so if we weld this wording together and then even uh, stretch it <clears throat> a little bit for the sunglasses, you don't want um, any lettering to go into the view of the sunglasses. So this is my, this is a great tip. So first I'm going to select the lettering and the sunglasses and I'm going to do slice. Then right away I'm going to locate the slice that's green or turquoise or whatever color your sunglasses are. And I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to weld them back again. Okay, so now the sunglass is one, one piece. I'm going to delete that other slice piece. Now our bride has that, um, the piece of that sunglass is running right through it, which is perfect. So now you can contour it. So now we're going to open up contour, select the pieces that we don't want, and then we're going to put it back together. So there we go. That is exactly how I wanted it. Just like that. Actually, I'm going to put that on top just to make sure. There we go. Now I'm going to select those and I'm going to weld. And there it is. And if there's little pieces like right here that you don't want to get cut, you can always hit the contour again and unselect that so that that little tiny triangle isn't cut. Sometimes those little areas are, are difficulty areas. Anyway, that's my big tip for using the contour. First you have to slice and then you can contour. Um, to get all of the flourishes from out of the view of the sunglasses. So now we're going to cut and let our Cricut work its magic. <laughs>